Oh, if it was power here with the review of the Ultraman Trigger. SG got hyper key set zero one. Obviously, just like uh the Sentai Gears, I did not get boxes with these, so that sucks for me. <laughs> so but anyways, this is the first set of candy toy hyper key. Hyper Yeah, there are hyper keys. I'm forgetting the name of this gimmick now. Anyways, we got Gormora, Ellie King, Wyndham, Alien Bolton, or Bolton Seiji, Mel Melbus, <laughs> Melba, and a Kira Kira Kiraoid. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but obviously, uh, we have a similar format like the first set. Not really, but. Let's just get this over with. So, um, I'm pretty sure I did order this correctly of how it was in the box. But, um, here we are with a candy toy body for the kaiju keys. Which, obviously, uh, unlike the gash panel ones, you just had to apply a sticker and such. So, here's Gorma, uh, it's mosaic illustration. He's actually M01. Um, again, just like Gashapon, they don't have buttons up here, but they obviously need the activation button just because of how it works. This one is C051. And the thing, you know, how with the Gashapon ones with the button activation buttons, how they're really dull and such. Yeah, Candy Toy for some reason. They're really hard. <laughs> like, it's a really, like, you really have to press it. It's not like the DX ones that it's like gentle. That like, you know, it feels like the run and mount. This spring is really heavy. Uh, like you really have to press it just to spring it down and such. But uh, other than that, like obviously the, the body wise, these are a lot better. It's just that spring. Next up, we got L King M02. This one is the one I believe is actually the most used. <laughs> C052. Again, I don't really think I need to show much. Just buttonism. Next up, we finally finish up the main uh, storage custom trio with the Wyndham M12 and dash 12. I don't know if I've been saying the dashes. C072. Now we have uh, Alien Bolton, M-15. Obviously, you gotta have Alien Bolton. Speaking to you, Zet. <laughs> C-057. Then, here we got Melba, M-17. C-067. Melba's illustration, honestly, is actually the hardest one for me to identify because I actually thought it was some kind of like a butterfly thing, like Mothra, but then here you can see Melba's face. <laughs> Last but not least, uh, we got Kiriroy M-18. But here is C081. So let's get the sparklings. Again, starting with Nelba. No. Woohoo. 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 Gormor is shockwave somehow. Probably don't know too much about him. Wow, I caught that. <laughs> Honestly, the same sounds.
set. Okay. Um, obviously, I'll only show this with the one. Assumingly that you watched the Gashapon one. King. Woohoo. Yep. Obviously, you can immediately just skip this process. I was going to say, that doesn't sound right, but it is. Oh, so you can skip this too. sure that's different from the Zet riser. Alien you know, Bolton. I don't think that's right. That's not right. <laughs> I just want him laughing in my sleep. It would be the best thing. Come on, what? There. <laughs> Come on, you don't even deserve woohoos. Apologize for not going over the LEDs again. This is an entire week, so I think you got the gist of things. <laughs> Oh, 
Gary. Gary. But yeah. Um, so that all had to do with this, uh, entire first set. So, um, again, I think this is a pretty nice set overall. Um, I like that the lineup is pretty consistent with, um, the Gashapon wave. Because, you know, again, we get, for the most part, you know, we at least got, like, Showa Kaijus, or, like, very iconic ones. Um, we got a Zet Kaiju. Then we got two Tiga Kaijus. And technically this one also fills in humanoid uh, dark giant Kaiju, etc. So, like, again, this this is a pretty nice lineup overall. Um, again, I find it really weird that Zet never released a Bolton. <laughs> Because literally at that point, every other series has. Um, again, technically, I guess my only gripe about the candy toy ones is just how hard you have to press these. Just because of how heavy the spring is. However, uh, I believe Anti-Toy did this. But you can actually convert your Gashapon uh, Guts Hyper Keys into candy toys. You just simply, I think, have to unscrew the track and obviously, un obviously apply that uh, kaiju sticker. I think that's how the modification works. However, I actually kind of, you know, with the spring especially, I actually kind of do just, like, obviously if you really want the clean cleanliness of the hyper keys and don't want ones with splits and yeah go ahead and do it obviously however just like the gashapon sets candy toy sets are kind of difficult on tracking down unless you can actually find a set on mandarake this set again is not easy to get um i don't understand why that's the case is it because of windom is it because El King's the only one that I know of that gets actually used? I want to know. I'm still on Taiga. So <laughs> I'll have to do with this review. And for now, with the first round of trigger stuff, which I shouldn't be saying that, this is Power Rider, and I'll leave you people.